Hello friends, welcome to DCPA and uh, this is the continuation to my stiffness matrix series and in this video tutorial we are going to construct a beam element matrix and we are going to see what is basically a beam element matrix so let's get started step one is to draw positive forces and moments okay. this is basically our beam element but this is only a simple element for now it is not yet a beam element this is a simple element with length l and the first step is to draw positive forces and moments now, what are positive forces and moments now as you can see here uh, there is a cartesian coordinate system having three axes x y and z and all the forces acting along these axes are called as positive forces uh, the z for the z axis is coming towards you okay so keep that in mind z axis is coming towards you and towards you is positive away from you is negative y axis uh, going up is positive x axis going rightwards is positive okay and as far as moments are considered they are denoted as double arrows and the double arrows going upwards in the uh, y axis are considered as positive and now basically what is the direction of the moment how to determine then it is determined from the right hand thumb rule uh, the thumb going in the direction of these two arrows and the curl of the fingers denoting the direction of the moment so here as you can see it is anti-clockwise the moment is getting anti-clockwise curl hence two arrows upwards along the y-axis denote an anti-clockwise moment similarly in the x direction two arrows uh, in the x direction denote an anti-clockwise moment again from right hand thumb rule and two axes along the z direction again denote a anti-clockwise moment from right hand thumb rule so uh, to cut it short basically uh, anti-clockwise moments are considered as positive okay if if my uh, two arrows are along the cartesian coordinate axis so these are the positive forces and moments and for beam element the first step is to draw the positive forces now beam element matrix consists generally of these two forces that is a force in the y direction and a moment in the z direction okay z axis that's it only these two are considered while constructing a beam element matrix or this is basically a beam element with forces in y direction and a moment along z axis and as you can see the direction is anti-clockwise for the moments second step is to number the forces moments and the points okay so first we'll these are the points that is point one and point two uh, from now on i will i'll be denoting them as point one and point two and not a and b and these are the forces starting from the upward force that is starting from vertical force one two now second is the moment third force three and fourth again the moment okay this is a very important step to number the forces because these are going to act as the markers to draw your matrix and now let's get started with the beam element matrix i have drawn the beam element here and the first step is displacement due to force one and as you can see this is our force one and we'll have to check what is the displacement of the beam due to this force one If you have seen my previous video there I had discussed how the beam will get deflected and uh, how the reactions will be formed. This is how the beam is going to get deflected and uh, the, the magnitude with which we deflect the beam uh, by a delta equal to 1 is 12 EI by L cube. If you, if you are not well versed with these values uh, the link will be given in the description you can check the previous video where i discussed briefly about how the reactions and what are the values of the reactions and this force basically caused a displacement of unit a unit displacement along point a and the reactions formed are 6 ei by l square a moment of anti-clockwise nature 6 ei by l square again a moment of anti-clockwise nature at point b and 12 ei by l cube a reaction at point b the directions and these magnitudes everything is explained in the previous video you can watch it there now s11 this is the first element of our 
beam element matrix S11 and it is given as 12 EI by L cube. What is S11? S11 is force or a reaction number 1 and the other digit indicates due to force 1. So because of force 1, what is my force or reaction at 1? Now due to force 1, the force or reaction is this itself. Okay, because this itself is the force. So it is 12 EI by L cube and it is acting in the upwards direction and upwards is positive okay therefore it is plus 2 lei by l cube now next element is s21 which is 6 ei by l square what is s21 it is force or reaction number 2 due to force 1 okay so if you see then the second digit that is here the second digit is basically the force number due to which the displacement has been taken place so here the displacement has taken place due to force 1 and the first digit is basically where the reactions have been formed so s11 was the reaction was at number 1 s21 is second number reaction as you can see this reaction and again it is positive 6 ei by l square because it is anti-clockwise in nature and as you can see here at second number the positive moment is of anti-clockwise nature s31 is minus 12 ei by l cube and it is force or reaction number 3 again due to force 1 so due to force 1 what is the reaction formed at 3 it is 12 ei by l cube but in the downwards direction and since the positive ha had to be upwards and this is downwards so therefore we write it as minus 12 ei by l cube s41 is 6 ei by l square uh, and it is force or reaction number 4 due to force 1 and it is again positive because it is anti-clockwise and our force or reaction at 4 is also anti-clockwise therefore it is plus 6 ei by l square now if you have worked with matrices previously then you must be knowing that s1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 forms a column of the matrix okay so whatever elements of stiffness that you get by displacing uh, due to a force will be the column of the matrices okay so due to force 1 the dis due to displacement by force 1 s11 s21 s31 s41 we get the first column of our beam element matrix now let us move to uh, second force displacement due to force 2 and we again give a unit displacement at point 1 due to force 2 what is our force 2 of force 2 is a moment in anti-clockwise direction so we give a unit displacement unit displacement meaning a unit rotation now and it has ro been rotated by theta a equal to 1 and what are the reactions formed due to this unit rotation the unit rotation required uh, or the moment required to form a unit rotation is 4 ei by l again this being discussed in the previous video the reaction formed here at this end is 2 ei by l which is of anti-clockwise nature and these are the upward reactions formed at a and b okay now let's construct our stiffness elements s12 what is s12 it is force or reaction number one due to force two so again our second digit corresponds to the force due to which displacement has taken place s12 is 6 ei by l square force or reaction number one so we have to consider this this thing the upward reaction and what is the upward reaction formed here 6 ei by l square and it is positive because it is in the upward direction thus s12 is 6 ei by l square s22 is force or reaction number 2 due to force 2 the force or reaction number 2 has to be a moment and it is again in the anti-clockwise direction and it is 4 ei by l s32 is minus 6 ei by l square uh, because force or reaction number 3 has to be an upward force and here as you can see the reaction is 6 ei by l square but downwards direction therefore it is negative 6 ei by l square and s42 is 2 ei by l as you can see the fourth force is a moment of anti-clockwise nature and it is of magnitude 2 ei by l this we have constructed the second column of our stiffness element matrix uh, that is 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2 and 4, 2. Let's move to force number 3. 
displacement due to force 3 and as you can see the force 3 acts at point 2 the previous two forces were acting at point 1 so uh, we will be giving a unit displacement at point 2 due to force 3 and force 3 is an upward force and the unit displacement uh, due to force 3 will be similar to the unit displacement uh, due to force 1 like this and the reactions formed will be these the force causing the displacement is 2 Lei by L cube and these are the reaction the force is given in the red uh, color and the reactions are formed in blue color here let us start writing the elements of stiffness S13 that is force or reaction at number 1 due to force 3 so reaction at number 1 has to be a vertical reaction but it is acting in the downwards direction here and the magnitude is 2 Lei by L cube hence S13 is minus 2 Lei by L cube S23 is minus 6 Ei by L square second reaction is uh, this moment which has to be anti-clockwise but here as you can see it is of clockwise nature and its magnitude is 6 Ei by L square hence it is minus 6 Ei by L square here as it is not conforming with our positive forces or positive directions S33 that is force or reaction number 3 due to force 3 third force is upward reaction uh, and again as you can see here this is giving a upward reaction hence it is positive to Lea by L cube this is force itself and S33 is to Lea by L cube positive S43 is minus 6 Ei by L square because the positive direction for reaction at 4 was anti-clockwise but here it is giving a clockwise moment 6 Ei by L square hence it is minus 6 Ei by L square okay and this we have constructed the third column of our stiffness element matrix now let us check the displacement due to force 4 and giving a unit displacement at point 2 due to force 4 force 4 is basically a our anti-clockwise moment here so giving a unit a rotation at point B we get a displaced beam like this and the reactions formed due to this displaced profile uh, is uh, these reactions the moment of magnitude 4 Ei by L causes a rotation of theta B equal to 1 and the reactions formed are 2, a, 2 Ei by L, 6 Ei by L square and 6 Ei by L square at the, both the ends. Let us write now stiffness elements S14 that is force or reaction number 1 due to force 4 okay due to displacement by force 4 and reaction number 1 is upwards positive uh, upward reaction and it is 6 Ei by L square acting in the upward direction hence it is positive so s14 is positive s24 is a moment which should be acting in the anti-clockwise direction and it is a moment which is acting in the anti-clockwise direction and the magnitude is 2 ei by l s34 s34 uh, is the force or reaction number 3 due to force 4 and it, number 3 is a positive upward reaction but here it is giving a downward reaction 6 Ei by L square hence it is minus 6 Ei by L square the element number S34 is minus 6 Ei by L square and the last element S44 is force or reaction number 4 due to force 4 and S44 is 4 Ei by L it should be a anti-clockwise moment and it is positive as it is an anti-clockwise moment 4 Ei by L okay and now we'll put all the elements this is our fourth and last column of our matrix and we'll put all the elements now in the matrix form that is S11, S12, S13, 14, 21222324, 31323334, 41424344 you can write these uh, numbers up and on the right side for your reference that is 1 and 1 row 1 column 1 the element is S11 row 1 column 2 the element is s12 row 1 column 3 element s13 row 1 column 4 element s14 row 2 column 1 s21 
रो टू कॉलम टू एस टू टू रो टू कॉलम थ्री एस टू थ्री रो टू कॉलम फोर एस टू फोर एंड सिमिलरली ऑल दीज वैल्यूज ओके एंड वॉट एवर यू हैव फाउंड दीज वैल्यूज यू नीड टू सब्सटीट्यूट दैम इन द करेक्ट प्लेसेज एज यू कैन सी दिस इज आर फर्स्ट कॉलम सेकेंड कॉलम थर्ड कॉलम फोर्थ कॉलम दिस कॉलम वॉज फॉर्म ड्यू टू डिसमेंट बाय फोर्स वन दिस कॉलम वॉज फॉर्म ड्यू टू डिसमेंट बाय फोर्स टू This column was formed due to displacement by force three. This column was formed due to displacement by force four. Now let us substitute all these values. We get this final matrix. Okay, and I can divide this matrix into four parts. This part, this part, this part, this part. Uh, now there are a few observations to be made in th this matrix. You can see all these points S one one, S two two, S three three, and S four four. can never be negative they are always positive okay because they are the forces acting and the react the force and the reaction coincide with each other and hence it is always positive you can check it uh, by scrolling back in the video and uh, you can see these three elements are uh, basically repeated in all these four Uh, blocks. Okay. Only the, this element differs. Here it is 4e i by l, 2e i by l, 2e i by l, 4e i by l. Okay. Now comes the sign convention. Now how I remember it is basically I write I I remember this column first. The whole column I memorize it and then I write a negative sign at the third uh, third element s13. Again I write this column second column. and i write the negative sign at s23 now these are the only two columns that you need to memorize the third and fourth can be uh, written from the reference of these two columns now the third column is basically negative of first column as you can see it is if here it is 2l a by l cube here it is minus 2l a by l cube if it is 6 a by l square here it is minus 6 a by l square minus 2l a by l cube plus 2l a by l cube Plus 6y by l square minus 6y by l square. Okay, and this last column is basically you have to copy the same thing here. Copy the same column here. Only the second and the fourth you have to in interchange. So if here it was 4y by l and 2y by l, here you have to write 2y by l and 4y by l. The rest, the second and fourth is same. So this is how I memorize it. you might have any other as technique as well to memorize it uh, the final aim is to remember the whole matrix and now we have developed successfully our stiffness matrix i hope uh, you like the video please like share and subscribe and uh, click the bell notification icon for uh, getting updated with all the new upcoming videos of this channel thank you so much